they said that you are moving to Owensboro, Kentucky. And then I said, okay, Owensboro, Kentucky, it was the first time in my life that I heard about this place. I never heard that there is a state called Kentucky. I'm Khaiba and my last name is Shafak. I'm from Afghanistan. I grew up in mazar sharif a big city in the north, the capital of Balkh province. It was before the incident of 9-11. It was like a huge humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. When, when the drought changes, of course, there was conflict and there was a lot of internal displaced population produced by the conflict. In 2008, I was appointed as an economy security field officer. So where I was in charge for the distribution of uh, food assistance for over 60,000 families affected by the drought. When we heard about this, that the US is pulling oil out in 2021, I was really worried about having the same bloodshed that we had. I was worried about my family, my friends, my, my people. So I take my wife and three kids out of the country just a month before the, the collapse. So I decided to go back myself in the country and leave the family in Istanbul, in a place at least they are all safe. I was not expecting that uh, soon or rapid collapse of the government. When we heard that there were going to be many Afghans that were coming out of Afghanistan after Kabul fell, um, there was a program called Humanitarian Parole, and that differed quite a bit from our regular refugee resettlement program. We went from two to three Afghan arrivals to about 170 Afghan arrivals in less than a month. We obviously didn't have anywhere to put this number of arrivals. There's no way to find that many apartments in a, in a town this size. We partnered with some of our donors and some other people to um, get rooms at a hotel. We waited for three months. After three months, they said that you are moving to Owensboro, Kentucky. Then I said, OK, uh, fine. When I'm leaving, they said, you're leaving tomorrow and at uh, 2 in the morning. It was like nothing we'd ever seen before. With, um, with the resettlement effort and with the volunteers that came forward to plan for the Afghan arrivals. I gave an overview of what the immigration picture was gonna look like. We talked about how it was gonna be necessary for the Chamber of Commerce to be involved, to get, to get job interviews, to get jobs for people, and um, how to organize donations. I'm, very grateful for the overall community and the ecumenicism that we saw with all of the religious organizations to come together and assist in the way that they best could. Uh, Susan Gieser, the director of Catholic Charity, she came to the hotel and she had a presentation of the immigration for the, all the Afghan refugees and I was doing the translation. And so at that time I was coming out of my car and I was actually greeted by Kai Barr. He's impressive sharp, a really powerful presence, and he commanded the room. Wow, this guy really knows what he's doing. And then I, I said, okay, let me help you. I've been helping the people. I've been controlling lots of big crowds. So, and I'm a volunteer, and I will be a volunteer for the whole of my life, so. I made a spreadsheet. So I asked everybody, bring me your list, the names, last names, age. Who had a conditional approval for their I-360? What the family size was of the head of household in that? It was just, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Kaivar actually offered to be the last one at the hotel. Um, I think he was like number five on the list to move out. But because he provided so much support, both in translation and help to the people who were staying there, he didn't want to abandon them and he said he would be the last to leave, and he was the last to leave. So now everybody's out of the hotel and everybody is leaving there. Yes, that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> And she got an injection. 
Well, we are happy, you know, we are secure. So it's no problem to us. Now we start a new life in America. So we are really happy. We planned uh, my asylum interview was like two weeks ago in Chicago. Still waiting for the result and hopefully uh, a positive one so I can start the process for my family to bring them here. This, this is a life-threatening tornado that's uh, coming across the Hickman and Fulton County line right now. On December 10th, the night that the, the, the tornado hit, um, I was taking the Afghans back to the hotel um, and then dropped them off and it wasn't maybe uh, about half hour to an hour later is when we first heard some sirens going off here in Davis County. And then uh, we found out pretty early on that Resurrection Parish had been wiped out in Dawson Springs. Um, so we were getting some reports about that and that there were, uh, was a massive loss of life. But I knew that we were going to be impacted and that we were going to have to go down. So found Kaibar and I said, we're going to have to take care of these tornado survivors. I'm, we're not going to have time to do all of these appointments and I'm so sorry. And Kaibar turned to me and he said, Miss Susan, you know that I worked for the International Red Cross and I've done landslides and earthquakes and floods in Afghanistan and give me an apron and point me in the direction I need to go. I can help. In that moment, I thought, how great is it that this guy landed here in Owensboro and is so willing to help us out with our problem right after he's been through hell and when his family is still in Turkey he's here offering to help me. I had a kind of feeling that uh, why God sent me to Kentucky and uh, that's why I'm here. If I could do something for these people why not? For me my happiness is always in helping others. That's the thing that I would like to do and I will do it from, from the whole of my life.